Joining me tonight is Adam Green, the co-founder of the Progressive Change Campaign Committee, the PCCC. He joins us from Washington, D.C. Adam, good to have you with us tonight. Your group has put together a uh, pro-labor ad on Wisconsin TV, and it's had great success. Um, had this not been done, would the recall efforts be where they are right now? Is it going to take this kind of exposure to keep people in Wisconsin motivated? What do you think? Well, I do think a lot of credit goes to those on the ground, the Wisconsin Democratic Party and the literally thousands of people who volunteered this weekend in the last couple of days to help accumulate those 15 percent of the signatures needed. Uh, but what we're trying to do is provide some air cover. Uh, we're very thankful to the 24,000 people who have donated over half a million dollars to keep our ad on the, on the air, going to waronworkingfamilies.com to chip in $3, $10. And at the end of the day, this is a very people-powered movement. This is what um, you know, pro-worker forces look like. This is what people power looks like. And we're finally uh, teaching Republicans what it looks like to be accountable when they take the pro-corporate positions against everyday working families. It's and, a pretty inspirational moment. And is this somewhat of a tea leave on how the funding is going to go? I would imagine this is going to be very intense. Obviously, the Koch brothers involved with the good interest of the governor. How do you think this is going to play out? What's it going to take? Yeah, look. Let's be very clear. This is this is a movement that is is grown in Wisconsin and is um, you know revolving around thousands of people who are volunteering in Wisconsin. But there's a lot of solidarity, solidarity that you've showed on this show and the groups like ours, the Progressive Change Campaign Committee, Democracy for America, Move On, and just regular everyday people around the country. Um, we we really want these Wisconsin workers to win because this is ground zero in the fight between big corporations and special interests against everyday working families. So we're willing to do our part, uh, and we're willing to give the people of Wisconsin the support they need to win this battle. Okay. This, yeah. Eight Democrats are being targeted. Eight Republicans are being targeted. But we don't see any Republicans out demonstrating against Democrats here at any huge numbers whatsoever. <laughs> Is this the outside influence? And also, who do you think are the most vulnerable Republicans in this? Well, the most vulnerable Republicans, there's actually a, a clear set of three people. One is a guy named Randy Hopper from Green Bay, who won his last election by only 184 votes. He's in the line of fire. Uh, wearing, we're airing our ad in his district very heavily, and the, the recall effort is, is very much underway there. Alberta Darling, who, who you've talked about on this show, won her last election by 51 percent in the Milwaukee area. And Dan Kopenke in the La Crosse area also won his last election by 51 percent. These guys really have to, you know, essentially pick a side. Are they going to side with Governor Walker and big corporate interests or the people of Wisconsin? And if they choose the wrong way, they will, will very easily be booted from office. And the way the polls are going, the way the interest is, the way we have seen this turn against the governor in the arena of public opinion, uh, is it a slam dunk that the three that you just mentioned will probably get recalled? Well, I think it's a, it's a slam dunk that one of two things will happen, either they will do what their constituents want, want and, and vote against the governor's budget, or they will get recalled. It's one of the two. I think that's a slam dunk. Um, we'll see what happens. But this is really a testament to people power, to regular people standing up and saying, even though we have a Republican governor, House, and Senate, yeah. we're going we're gonna to push back. And uh, it's been a really inspirational thing. And honestly, people across the nation will, are taking the lead of the folks in Wisconsin. And this could really uh, usher in a new era over the next two years. And, we can, to watch. and we can only speculate that if these recall campaigns are successful, uh, we might see people thinking twice before they start attacking unions the way they have in Wisconsin. Adam Green, great to have you with us tonight. Thanks for your time.